Hi guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Natasha and typically I have a baby squirrel monkey named Ollie running around right now at this point in the video, but today's video is a little bit special and different. We are going on a huge camping trip and we don't do this very often. This is only the second time in two years that we are going to be doing this. So it takes a lot to organize and pack, um, not just for Ollie, but for the entire family also. So today's video, I'm going to show you what we packed for Ollie to go on this camping trip. It is not easy traveling with a primate. There's a lot of different things that you have to think of and take into consideration. So that's what we're gonna go through today on this video. I'm sorry that Ali is not in this video. That is because there are things in his suitcase that I do not want him to get a hold of yet, and I know he will try, and I don't feel like repacking everything again. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new, and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when we upload the next video. This camping series is going to be um, probably a couple videos long, if not more, and we'll be uploading them as much as we can these next couple of weeks, so please bear in mind that we may not be on our normal, typical upload schedule, so make sure you hit that notification bell because videos are gonna be coming out on random days, I'm sure. So, let's get to this video. Okay, the first thing you're probably wondering is, where is Ali gonna stay? So, the place that we are going is up in the mountains. It is a resort. And if you watched our videos two years ago, you saw that we did a cozy cabin, and this year I have taken it upon myself to upgrade, and we rented a house. Thank goodness! So, <laughs> this time is going to be a little bit easier for Ali. We will be able to seclude him if need be, or to have him out in a bigger area. Um, I do plan to monkey proof one of the rooms so we will be able to do videos in there and to have him out to play. Obviously we cannot take his huge enclosure with us, that is just physically impossible. So he will be staying in his travel enclosure, which is this. It is a small size dog crate. Um, it does fold down, but I will actually probably keep it like this and I am going to be in the passenger side and have Ollie in this so he can watch the road without touching the steering wheel and everything because it is a longer drive. I don't want him to mess with any of the controls while Luke is driving. Um, if it's a short distance and we know he's going to be pulling on the steering wheel and everything as you've seen in some of our drive-through videos and stuff, that is understandable, but we will be on the highways and roads that we don't normally travel. So for safety, we're going to have him in here. Um, he's got a blanket down here, and he does have a little monkey toy blanket that he can hold on to. Um, there are a couple of other items that I have ready to put in here after the travel. So once we get to the cabin, I've got a couple of... Um, hammocks that I'm going to put in here to give him some levels. Um, typically squirrel monkeys are up high, so I will find somewhere up high to put his enclosure just to keep Ali as comfortable as possible. Um, we are bringing our dogs and um, Luke's sister is bringing um, her dog, which is Sakima, and Sakima has met Ali before and has been in a couple videos, so they should be pretty comfortable, but we know that Ollie is um, Ollie, so we will keep him up high so he feels safe. That is just their natural nature. So that's where he's going to stay. Um, like I said, he won't be in there the entire time. We will have him out. We will be taking tours of the campsite. We will be going to the waterfalls. We will be going to the pond and the lake. We will be fishing. He will be going on the golf cart. I am sure he really loves the golf cart. So expect some golf cart videos. Um, and yeah, he's just going to be out with us on his lead with his diaper on, of course. And this, um, I do want to also say that I will not keep him in his diaper the entire time he is in this. 
So you will see in his suitcase, I have packed extra blankets and I have packed um, his sanitary wipes because obviously he is going to poo and pee everywhere and we are prepared for that. <laughs> so let's open up his bag. So this is the bag that I have packed him in. It is a monkey bag that one of our viewers, subscribers purchased for us a long time ago. Um, we've used this bag quite a bit now for Ollie's travelings when he went to Outer Banks, um, when he's gone down to Florida to the exotic pet exhibit. So yeah, it's a nice little size, um, keeps everything contained and with the monkey on it, you cannot mistake it for somebody else's bag. So let's open this up. I'm going to scoot back so you guys can see. And if you're wondering what the humming noise is, I do have the air conditioner on running above the camera, so the feed may be picking up some of that noise. Um, I do apologize, but if not, it's about hot up here. The so first thing I'm going to pull out is these little cups. I've made a variety of them. I will show you and explain what is in each of them. Oh, the lid fell off of one already. Okay. Or no, maybe it's an extra lid. I'll play with it. Okay, so the first thing is these cups. The idea behind this is that Ollie is going to be, when he is in his enclosure, he's going to still need some stimulation and enrichment of some sort. So these are kind of hard to get off. Um, these are just like the Jello shot cups that you get at Walmart with lids. And in this one, I have put some dehydrated peas in the corn, which we did a video on the freeze dried, not dehydrated, freeze dried correction freeze dried corn and peas that we did a video on a couple weeks ago that Ali really enjoys. So that's a nice little snack for him. Vegetables, can't go wrong there. The next thing I have are craisin raisins. Um, Ali really likes these, they are a little bit sweet. So we only give him a couple at a time so he will be able to munch on those. One or two a day is fine. I also have some puffs. Ollie loves his puffs. And I have some popcorn that has no salt, no butter. It's basically really bland popcorn that I popped myself. So there's a couple kernels in there. He really likes popcorn. That'll keep him entertained as well. And then we've got the yogis. Okay, Ollie loves his yogis. Now, another idea that I have that I have not done yet is to take these and to fill them up with some like confetti shredded paper or the um, critter animal bedding that I have for like the hamster and the rabbit. Um, put some of that in there so once he opens it he has to forge and dig through. So that's probably what I'm going to do later today. <laughs> Next thing I have is this is a bell toy and actually one of our subscribers uh, if you can see it, one of our subscribers bought it for us. It just hangs on the top of the enclosure and Ollie can ring it. And um, just a fun little toy, easy. And the next thing I have is some red solo cups. We all know that Ollie loves his little red cups. They're multi purpose. We can put stuff in it and give it to him or tape them together or something. Um, they're just good to have for him because he likes them. The goal is to keep as many things familiar for Ollie because I don't want him to be any more stressed. So I'm keeping the same bedding that he would normally have in his big enclosure, goes in here, um, the toys, the same foods, um, blankets. We want to keep everything as similar and familiarized as possible. The next thing I have is this little bag. This is where I am going to keep all of his dirty nappies. Yes, he is going to poo in his diapers and I'm not going to want to put that in with other laundry. So this is a nice little diaper bag. I used it for both of my children for their um, washable diapers when we did that also have blankets. I have a couple of blankets in here. Like I said, he is going to not be in his diaper the entire time he is in this enclosure. So 
We have lots of blankets. And I do want to say there is a washer and dryer in this cabin. Thank goodness. Um, so I didn't pack like 10 blankets because I do know that I will be able to do a load of laundry there if need be. So keeping that in mind, I have three spares. That should be plenty. Next thing we have is Ollie's Sanitary Wipes. This is the brand that we use. We use these to clean his enclosure um, and to clean up any messes. They are heavy duty. They're like the hospital ones, um, but they cut through the poo and the grime. So that's what we use and I like them. This is the next thing. This is actually gonna go in his enclosure once we are at home base once we were in the cabin, um, put this in and it hangs and it gives him something to swing on. So a toy for his enclosure. And then the next thing is also this. Um, it's just a piece of a blanket with a knot at the top and I will drop it down the top of his enclosure and he can swing and hang on that. He really enjoys holding on to things um, when he's in his enclosure. So that's why I have the little monkey toy and this in there for him to grab onto and hold. The next thing we also have is syringes. Now, if you've been with us a while, you know that Ollie has never liked drinking formula from a bottle. We don't know why, he just never got into it. We tried many, 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 many times with a bunch of different nipples and everything, and he just didn't like it. He preferred the syringe. Instant gratification monkey, I guess. So, we have a bunch of syringes. Right now, Ollie's schedule is he drinks milk three times a day and then he always has solid food in his enclosure with him. And he also gets snacks when he's upstairs in his playroom. So he's got lots of different options. We're gonna keep all of that the same. We're gonna keep him on all of the same foods, all of these snacks he's had before. We know he likes them. Um, keeping it nice and simple and nice and easy. We will, once we get there, have um, a Walmart to go to and to buy some fresh vegetables and stock up if I don't have enough in the fridge to take with us. So he will also get his normal bowl of vegetables as well. Let's see, the next thing I have in here are some wipes. These are ones that somebody sent us. They actually come in really handy. These are the 99% water ones. Um, with no perfumes or fragrance to them and these we use to actually clean out his cloth diaper so when he is upstairs and he does poo in his cloth diaper we like to clean that out before I put it in the washer because obviously I don't want poop in my washer so that's what we're going to use these for and to clean up his cage if need be in between spills and insanity okay the next thing I've got in here as a pair of Luke's socks. Why are these in here? I don't know why these are in here. I did not pack those in here. So, those are gone. Um, let's see. Next thing I have in here is a squeeze pouch. Of course, Ollie likes his snacks. This is gonna be one of them. This is a mango, apple, carrot, and kale squeeze pouch. No sugars, 60 calories. He obviously won't eat it all, but he will definitely enjoy that did bring some more puffs, some to-go puffs. I think I'm gonna leave these ones in the package because I know Ollie likes to tear open the package. He obviously won't eat the entire thing, but he'll have fun opening it, that is for sure. And he'll have fun opening these ones. These are the Beech Nut Natural Cheese Bites. And they are actually quite delicious too. And I know he likes this. They're the Mild Cheddar. And then I also am bringing backup. So I will be bringing and packing his formula and his rice. He uses the Similac formula um, that's easy on the tummy and he uses baby rice cereal. So it's um, ratioed out for four scoops of formula. He gets two scoops of rice um, cereal in with his formula all shooken up and mixed in together. I did not put those in the bag yet because obviously we are still two days away from actually leaving. So 
we still need them. But those will get added to the bag at the very last minute before we go. But this is my just in case something happens. These are, the, this is the brand that we use. We usually use the powder, like I said. But this is an already pre-made one that is good to go right out of the bottle. And it doesn't need any refrigeration or anything until you open it up. And if need be, we will just go that route. It won't have any of the rice cereal in it, but it will help in a pinch if something does happen. You never know. <laughs> you really never know. So that is what we have so far in Ollie's bag. This is the main majority. Like I said, everything in here is stuff that he is going to use or will need. And I can't think of anything else other than, like I said, the formula and the rice cereal that needs to be added in other than his diapers, which are actually in the washing machine right now. Um, but it should be a really good time. We're really excited and we can't wait to show you some footage of Ollie up in the mountains. So be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and leave me a comment below if you thought that this was interesting. I know I asked in a community post if you guys wanted to see this because I knew I wouldn't be able to have Ollie in the video, but I really wanted to show you what it takes to travel with a monkey because it is not as simple as just putting the, the monkey into a cage and taking them with you. There's a lot of different things that you got to think about to keep the primate happy and to keep them engaged and socialized. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.